What's up, Wayne Brown here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside the new Adobe Edge Animate CC 2014, just released today. And today, my friends, is June 19th. It could have been released yesterday, and I just totally missed it. And it probably was, because I was informed that it was going to be released 17th or 18th. So it was probably released yesterday. But anyway, I just got it today, and uh, so far, I'm liking it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, do a video first. Let's go ahead and do a video. It's just going to be a really quick lesson. Let's come over here to our video inside of our library. Click on the plus button. You navigate to wherever your video is at. Click on it and then it shows it right over here inside of your video uh, library. You click on the video, drag it over, drop it inside of your project. Now it's going to let you know that there are spaces in, uh, in between each one of the words and that it's added in underscores just like it's done before in your images and so forth that you've added to your project. Go ahead and click OK and let's zoom out and then let's go ahead and hold down shift that way it keeps its proportion and let's drag it and set it somewhere on our stage here. Now I drag it up. Now we got right down here we've got our uh, layer, our video layer sitting inside of our timeline. So what we want to do is that we want to go ahead and add in a playback. So click here and add in play. Okay, that's going to automatically add in our play here. So let's grab a hold of it and let's move it out here about one second more. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a stop right here at the beginning. Now if you notice, something's a lot different, okay? Everything is not what it seems. This is no longer like the old version. They really did a major update on the 2014 version of Edge Animate, so everything is different here. So whenever I first opened it up, I had to take a double look. I was like, hold it. This is not what I'm used to. Okay, what we're going to do is that we're going to choose Playback, and then we're going to choose Stop. And so come over here to the stage and just double click on it. And then it's going to automatically add that into it. So it's going to be sim.stop. So let's go ahead and click OK on that one. And then whenever we let's go ahead and save this, we're just going to save it right there, overwrite what I had created before. And then we're going to load it. And it loads the same way. OK. And with our stop, it's not going to automatically play the video like it used to. Okay, well, like it would if we didn't add the stop. So if we remove the stop, then it will play the video. So let's come back over here. Now let's, uh, what if we want to play the video? And so let's come over here and let's click on click. And let's scroll down here to video. And then we want to play the video, but we also want to be able to pause it. So uh, that's what we want to do. So let's come over here add in a button okay let's do here let's add it in red add in some text and we're going to name this play me bring this out bring it up All right, looks good drag this on top of our round rect double click name this button and then we want to open up our button. And now let's come over here to click and then come down to video and then scroll down to toggle video, play and pause. Come over here, click on stage and it's automatically going to pick up on the video element that we have on our stage. So that's, if you just click on it, it's not going to do anything. But it is going to select it and show you everything. Now you've got the option. You can actually come over here and learn this stuff by typing it all out or you can just double click if you double click it then it automatically do it on its own so then you click on save and then we run the project come over here and then you'll be able to hear it play me what's up William Baron here with darkface dot then let's pause see, it we are in okay so it's that simple to add in a play and pause button it's a lot easier than what it was before I mean a lot easier before you had to type out all this information but now you don't so you just come back over here to your play. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can come over here and uh, let's say that you wanted to mute it. So we can come over here and add in a button, add in some text, and we want to mute it. Drag this up, drag it on top, name this mute, and just simply open it up, click, come down to video, and then we want to mute video stage click here and it's just muted equals true double click and it automatically added in there for you 
and there we go right there toggle so let's go ahead and get rid of this and let's change it with this stage that's right here so it's basically going to be muted or muted so click that save it now let's come over reload play me what's up William Baron here mute with net and that's inside of really sweet Max. okay I mean there's all sorts of stuff you can just come in here hang on for one second I've been using go ahead and stop that so I mean you can just come in here and you can play around with everything that is available for you within the video the new HTML the new HTML5 video element within Adobe Edge element and so, animate did I say Adobe Edge element probably did okay so this is what we got here this is the new Adobe Edge animate uh, CC 2014 with the new HTML5 video however I'm not really sure how to do uh, YouTube videos yet so I will do some research on that and then I'll get back with everybody but for those that are running uh, videos locally uh, either from your uh, your in-house server or from an external server where you upload all your video files to your location this is how you would run your videos Okay, Wayne Brown here with darkfakes.net. Y'all have a rocking time with a new Adobe Edge Animate CC 2014. All right, bye-bye.